Hey guys, it's Carl CC, and today I'm doing a Q&A. So I asked a couple of days ago on the Instagram if people would drop some questions for my 100th video special. I'm really happy to have shot, edited, and posted 100 videos, and I wanted to celebrate it by doing some of that. I always like Q&As, and I thought I should do my own. Let's get right to the questions. So first question says, what do you do for a living? And it's from E6 Cranky. And this is the guy that won my 300 subscriber giveaway. That was 100 subs ago. A pretty cool guy, he was really grateful. And yeah, so he says, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a construction worker. I'm in Arizona. I work for a construction uh, company in Arizona. I do whatever I can to help out. And uh, yeah, I've been doing construction for like 10 years. I started out with my dad. I keep doing it because I like building stuff and I like tools. 757 EDC from the Instagram says, least use but most important when needed piece of gear. So I actually have it right here with me. So this Victorinox have some scissors and this is gonna sound perhaps too personal but if, I, if we have a meeting or if I have to meet somebody at some point or have to go to church and I forgot to trim my nose hairs, I'll put those out and trim my nose hairs. I know, like most need it because I like to make a good first impression. I, I like to look good. Like right now I'm just casual. It's just me shooting a YouTube video. Uh, but you know, I like like the le the most casual I am when I go out is a polo shirt. Other than that, it's a button up. And if I'm at church, I like to wear at least a sports jacket. But I think it's most important to make a good first impression. And I know it's not like super cool or super tactical or nothing like that. But it's real and that's what I want my YouTube to be real and honest, especially with when it comes to my reviews. So lesbian EDC. Hi, Stephanie. Uh, her, her question is, how did you first get into EDC? So I was like I said earlier, like I wasn't to like looking OK. And some of those guys, bloggers like fashion bloggers would sometimes talk about like uh, gentleman essentials. You know, amongst that there was watches. And so I actually got into watches first, which Never get into watches. Hashtag not a brilliant man. Yeah, I'm still doing that. Nick Shabazz. I got into watches. I realized that that wasn't going to be a hobby of mine. Too much money. And then this guy, this fashion blogger, watch guy, was talking about knives one day. And he pulled out a Kershaw League. I bought one. I love the Kershaw League. And so I started um, searching on YouTube about knives. Next thing you know, I own a Tenacious. Next thing you know, I own PM2. Next thing you know, I own a Kaiser Guru. And I stopped for a little a little while, then I got into Instagram and my collection's been growing and my desire to uh, check out more knives grew. So now here I am re reviewing a bunch of knives. <laughs> out of every, okay, so NYBlades underscore EDC from Instagram says, out of every steel that you've experienced, pick one for the rest of your life and why? I thought that was a brilliant question. Uh, comes from my boy Brian. So I would go with S35DN. I know, boring, right? But ultimately, what you need a tool to do is what you need a tool to do, and that's cut. Uh, S35DN, it cuts well, it sharpens up easily. All I own is a Lansky system with some extra stones, and I can sharpen it like a, a longer knife, like a PM2. Uh, my PM2 is an S35DN. Actually, a quick pocket check. Today I have the Capara, S30V, carbon fiber, uh, wire clip, just good stuff. It's easy to sharpen, it's tough. It's not super tough, but it's tougher than S30, v, S30 that I show you right now. And I'm in construction, so I will ship S35 uh, VN, but not as often as S30. So S35 VN, I know boring, vanilla, but that's what I would go for. In fact, that's what I carry most of the time with my Sprint, my PM2, etc. So Ohio Knife Lover, he also has a, a YouTube super cool guy. His name's Nick, pretty cool guy. So his question says, what made you start doing videos on YouTube? Question mark. So I used to watch, once I got into EDC, I used to watch Nick Shabazz a lot. And one night he called out people to uh, start doing reviews. He was talking about there can't just be one big reviewer that everybody listens to. He was saying that there needed to be more, more opinions, more point of views, and that one big reviewer wasn't gonna 
um, was gonna monopolize the the hobby basically. I watched right after I watched a different video by uh, Think Media, I think, and they're saying how just record something and post it. So I made my first shitty video and I deleted it because it was so bad. I wish I had just unlisted it and saved it to reminisce, but I deleted it, it was bad. And it was a terrible video with terrible light. Um, this setup is not too bad right now. I have a big window right there and I have a uh, light lighting up my background and there is some echo in here, but a lot of it is soundproof, so it's not bad. So this is not as bad as my first video. My first video was terrible. Uh, but that's what made me it was I was into the hobby I was into EDC and then Nick Shabazz which was the only reviewer I used to listen to uh, called people out and so here I am um, now I, I listen to a lot of reviewers and I should make like a top five favorites or top ten or something uh, thanks Ohio I mean Nick I'm not gonna read them all I'm gonna read most of them back is underscore EDC if you could only keep one knife from your current collection which one would it be and why back is uh, oh my god why are you doing this to me uh, currently I think I would keep the outlast the outlast has a pry bar has serrated edge has a plain edge has a seat belt cutter and has a uh, window breaker thing and just generally it is a great freaking tool I would just have that because it has a deep pocket carry so even if I wear something like some nicer pants or something all you see is a black clip I, I wear belts so I don't care that it's five ounces or pretty close to five ounces I think it's just a great tool the, the plain edge blade works great but if I could keep two I would go with a nice PM2 and the Outlast which is generally what I EDC all the time unless I'm carrying something for review this thing is it's pretty cool. <laughs> Can't wait to review it. Yeah, but that that's my answer. Uh, side, sideways underscore Samurai says, in your opinion, who makes the best aftermarket knife skills? I don't know. I need to do more market research in that area. I, I see a lot of them, and I see not a lot of people 3, 3D printing them too, which is pretty cool, but I, ha I haven't done my market research on that, and I don't feel comfortable uh, just answering it without knowledge which is another thing I want to do or I am doing my YouTube is like if I don't know I don't know and I'll straight up let you guys know you know <laughs> have you ever dropped your EDC when you were high up working construction if so what was it so I've dropped a lot of pens by the way this PM 701 is awesome so it's a permanent marker from Zebra uh, you can just buy cartridges for it and I've been EDCing it lately and I've loved it. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen the pictures. So I've dropped pencils, uh, pens, markers. I've done a flashlight, but usually I'm very careful when I'm up in the ladder. So I've never done anything expensive. But yeah, just pens or pencils because I'm up there with a tape measure, usually marking some measurement on a stud or a ceiling and you know it falls but it's usually a zebra 301 or a zebra 701 which are under ten dollars so edc underscore 11 uh, from the instagram he's actually sending a knife here he made a, a small pass around and i'm going to be checking his mods out which is pretty cool uh, what would you carry for a fancy sf edc or gentleman carry question mark for normies so as fancy as F I really like the gent my mass drop it's you know around a hundred dollars it is a nice knife it is nice enough it's made with solid materials but it's not gonna break the bank so for around a hundred dollars which I'm comfortable with spending I would go with a gent now if you got to be more budget than that uh, recently I checked out the Rustic Gent uh, by Civivi, link somewhere up here uh, for the review. And if I gotta go cheaper, I'd go there for a gentleman carry. Just drop it in your pocket, pull it out. I've seen a lot of older men carrying stuff like that from like Case, for example, but I would go with the Civivi. I know it's, it's not as patriotic as a Case, but it's an extremely nice knife for an extremely good price. And if you wanna go expensive, then you're 
your uh, options are limitless. Uh, there's a lot of fancy stuff for more money. Thank you, EDC. That was a great question. Uh, Cranky, what is your favorite question mark or most carried or most expensive or most cherished knife? That's a good question. So my favorite, uh, honestly, the PM2 is kind of my favorite. I know everybody likes it. I know everybody loves it. It's a good knife. It's a solid knife. It's got a cool lock. It's fidgety. It gets the job done. Some people criticize the um, dainty tip, but I use it for work all the time, and, and it works fine just for me. So I think my favorite would be that one right now, especially with those carbon fiber scales and that uh, S35VN. Uh, most carried would be that one. Actually, most carried would be my Victorinox A-Lox, just because it, it doesn't come out of my keys. So I carry that every day. Most expensive, that would be my Outlast. Yeah, I think it's like 275 right now, a lot of money. Most cherished, I think my Kaiser Guru. Uh, it was a birthday present. Um, I, it, I used, it's a birthday present kind of from my wife and I to me. Um, I, was, I was 23 or 24, 27 now. What are your grill items? I would like to check out or own a Grimsmoor Norseman. I would like to check out or own a Grimsmoor Rask. Um, some flashlights, the ones that look like a rocket. I, I love to own one of those with like a like a red light on it as well. Uh, Penwise, I'd like a Saga, uh, Tie Bolt. There's a lot of things I would love to check out. And I think with with time and, and, and just persevering, you know, just being in the hobby, I think I will check them out eventually. Nothing custom seems to mind except for the tactical pterodactyl. Uh, something made from, from that guy would be great and crew wear and my card up. I, I really want one of those native chiefs in Rex 45. Uh, right now I'm checking out the native in LC200N and I really like the ergos. I really like just how toolish it is. It's just a tool. There's no nonsense, no flaws that are too big. It's just a tool that fits great in your hand. It deploys great. It feels great. It closes. It does its job. But I do wish it was like an inch longer. Um, for example, this is a bit longer than the native, and I like about this length. Um, but they um, they make the shaman, but I think the shamans in price price wise. I think the shaman's getting out of hand, uh, and I know I'll be criticized for that at some point for saying that out loud, but I think it is because a native chief, you get a little bit more, I think, uh, blade length, and it, it the Rex 45 will be 175, but the shaman in Rex 45, I think, will be over $200, I think 202 so, uh, you know, but it's, it, it looks great too. But I want to check out the Native Chief and Rex 45, you know, and if I miss out on that, I'll be sad, but then I'll check it out on M4 or whatever Spyderco does. Other than that, I want to thank you guys a lot. I don't know what I'm going to name this, but Q&A will be in the name. Uh, I don't know what the thumbnail will be. This one, this is my first Q&A. This is my 100th video. I just want to thank everybody. I just want to thank the community. I want to thank um, Big Red EDC for... Um, kind of being a, a patriarch in the community and welcoming me in with a lot of other reviewers. I want to thank Nick Shabazz for kind of calling people out and to start reviewing more. And yeah, I want to thank the KAA, Knife Addicts Anonymous, because you guys are fucking great. Watch a video right here, watch this video, subscribe. Uh, it would be awesome if you guys would like and subscribe. And yeah, have a great day. Just have a good one.